Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass, two 19th century giants who led the fight to end slavery in America. They are the latest subjects of a filmmaker long engaged in telling the contributions and challenges of African Americans. Jeffrey Brown talks with Stanley Nelson about two new documentaries on PBS for our arts and culture series, Canvas. What to the American slave is your 4th of July? The words and work of Frederick Douglass to stir a nation in a film titled Becoming Frederick Douglass. Northern and Southern newspapers related breathless accounts of Colonel Montgomery's campaign on the Combe River in South Carolina, led by Harriet Tubman. The escape from bondage and daring rescue missions of Harriet Tubman to bring others north from Harriet Tubman, Visions of Freedom. Two new films from documentarian Stanley Nelson. But these two people, for, with their own agencies, one, freed themselves, and then didn't stop at freeing themselves, mm -hmm. but wanted to make sure that other people were freed. And, and I think that's an important lesson for any age. So what's the last line before her? Nelson, who we joined recently in the Harlem office of his nonprofit organization Firelight Media, is one of the preeminent chroniclers of a wide range of African American experience. Civil rights history, including the film's Freedom Summer. Is this America? The land of the free and the home of the brave. And the Black Panthers. It happened at just the right time. The role of education in Tell Them We Are Rising. Black colleges were redefining what it meant to be black in America. Culture in films like Miles Davis' Birth of the Cool. Julia, in the daytime and at night, he'd be on 52nd Street. And dozens more. His focus has largely been on the 20th century. In these films, he looks back further. Right is of no sex. Truth is of no color. It felt a little bit different. It's harder, you know. It's, <laughs> it's harder to, to look back at the 19th century, uh -huh. you know, where you don't have witnesses. You know, you have no archival footage that, 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 that you can use. But we felt from the very beginning that there's a way to do it, that there's mm -hmm. a way to tell their stories, and they're important stories. So let's figure out how to tell them. We now understand that Frederick Douglass is the most photographed American man in the 19th century. Not African-American man, but American man. Becoming Frederick Douglass follows the life of a man born into slavery and his journey to becoming an influential leader, a tireless activist and public speaker who learned to use a technology new to his era. He used his image to further the cause of abolition. Mm -hmm. He's using the camera to say, Shh, look at me. Should I be enslaved? Look at me, a black man, a former slave. Right, and, and, and there's no way that you can't, you just look at the photos and you see the intelligence in his eyes. And you know, it, it's just amazing use of photography, um, you know, like right after photography was invented. There are just a handful of photos of Harriet Tubman, most as an older woman, and no writings. Nelson focuses on both her extraordinary courage and intelligence, evidenced in the mission she undertook to return south to free others. It took a lot of planning. It took a lot of knowledge. It took leadership, you know, mm -hmm. um, and, and she was an incredible human being. We wanted to, to give that sense of Harriet Tubman, and I think in some ways that's kind of a new thing. I don't know how often you have the time or inclination to kind of look back at all the work you've been doing over these years. Do you see a story that you've been telling? If you add it all up, you know, maybe it's, it's you know, the, the quest for freedom you know, in, in different ways. A lot of the, uh, my films are about, you know, institutions um, that, that are trying to, to change the world and trying to change mm -hmm. life in, in the United States. One of the feelings is that um, that I feel and, and, and we feel, you know, at, at our company Firelight is that, you know, people should tell their own stories. And in some ways, that's, that's my story. You know, it, you know I'm African-American, you know, as far, as far back as I can trace, it's in my blood, it's in my guts, it's in my brain. And so um, I try to tell stories from that point of view. Do you feel it as a, I'll even use the word mission to tell them? Oh, yeah. I'm on a mission, we're on a mission at Firelight. We're on a mission to tell stories that haven't been told, to, to talk about our past, um, but for everyone, you know, because you know, African American history is American history. And I think we only benefit by telling our history, by opening up our history, um, 
by making our history accessible to more and more people. And that's one of the things that film does. You know, you might not pick up a, a 400, 500 page book on Frederick Douglass or Harriet Tubman, but can you spend an hour watching a film? Yeah, and, and will um, it enlighten you, hopefully entertain you, maybe even change you? And, and that's what history does. And I think, think that it's really important that we understand that. And we look at our history and, and we don't try to block history. A related mission for Nelson and Firelight Media, helping emerging documentary filmmakers of color get their stories made and seen through its documentary lab. For so much of, of, of filmmaking history, documentary history, um, our stories, you know, as, as people of color, have been told by other people. And, and we really feel that, that uh, you know, there's a need um, for, for telling our own stories, that, mm -hmm. that the stories um, can be a little bit richer, a little bit deeper, if you're telling the stories from the inside. Nelson's own next projects include a film on the history of policing in black America and another on African American art. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown in New York.